Google Plus and YouTube. What are your thoughts? I want to get your folks' opinion in the comment section and uh, get a sense of how you like it. If you don't like it, can you make a video response? But I'm going to give you my opinion as to this change. Why Google Plus and YouTube decide to merge. Well, there's a host of reasons. You know, YouTube can be a place for learning, empowering, and enriching your life and entertainment. But you got a lot of people who are trolls, who are cowards, who want to threaten people online. And they use YouTube as their scapegoating site to launch personal ad hominem attacks against other YouTubers. So maybe this is their way of tracking people. I mean, they tried to do it with several months ago, maybe about a year, forcing people to use their real name. In other words, they tried to start the process back some several months ago with Google+, Plus, forcing its consumers to use their real name. A lot of people got into an uproar. So I guess YouTube kind of backed away from it. There was a time that in YouTube, your comments were limited to 500 characters. Maybe the most you can comment on a video is maybe five before you have to add in a Captiva comment. Now they changed it so you can write however long of um, a response you want to for the person that made the video or in comments to other YouTubers who left a comment or feedback about the video. I believe now you can like a video, you can dislike a video, you can even change your likes and dislikes. I mean, YouTube is still is an evolutionary website. It's been around, let's say, since 2006. I've been on YouTube since that time, and it's been a while since they've really made any real major changes. Some feel that the changes are not good. I would happen to agree with it. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. But some feel the need. The folks at YouTube decided to change the way users interact and how to use the site and they decided to do it without letting the people decide. Well, of course, the majority of uh, folks would not be for it, but others sort of like the change. It's like Windows 90, not, not Windows 98, that's not a good comparison right now. Windows 7 and Windows 8. We all know that the two operating systems are not the same. They're both one and the same, but they're not really the same experience. And that's a whole nother topic, a whole nother discussion. But this whole merger of Google Plus and YouTube kind of forcing its already existing users to, let's say if they have a Yahoo account, now have to sign up with Google in order to use YouTube, which doesn't make sense, especially if they're an established YouTube uh, user or partner who's had many channels for a number of years. What does that lead them up to do? Can they merge those accounts? I don't know. Uh, a lot of people want to change. A lot of people don't want to change. Let me let me uh, back that up. Some people don't like the change. Others do. I'm kind of in the middle. I kind of like the change. I don't really like it. Because it's forcing me to comply to something that I may not want to necessarily comply. I give them my real name. I should be known by my screenshot name or by my screen name that I go by or handle on YouTube, not by my name that I was given to at birth. And everybody has a right to either use their real name if they want to or you use a screen name that reflects their personality, what they're trying to promote and what they're trying to do on YouTube. But the choice is really up to you folks as to what you want to do. But let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section or video response. I really appreciate a video response so we can get some kind of a dialogue going, get some discussion going as far as your thoughts and opinions on this whole Google Plus and YouTube and whether or not it was necessary. Anyway, I'm going to pause this video, actually cut it off now, and uh, let me know what you guys think. Until then, take care.